Minister, welcome to our new segment, The Fix It, where we solve problems for people whether they've asked us to or not. And the first problem we want to fix this year is us. We've got a new time slot no one knows about and we're up against shows on commercial channels that have big ratings and frankly are much better. Yes, the obvious solution is of course advertising, but as you may know, the only billboards we could afford were overseas, including one in India that was hand-painted. Inside Australia though, we had to come up with somewhere to advertise for free. Look, I think I've found one solution to that. It's great, because the owners don't even know you're doing it, they'll never take it off. <laughs> not, not bad, mate, you fixed that one. No, but there's an even better way to influence public opinion, and that is cavies. They're always talking to people. So I decided to manufacture some good word of mouth for the show. If I give you 50 bucks, will you tell every single one of your customers to watch our show? No, 50 bucks. No? Please? We work here for our money, we don't know. Hey, this will be hard work, trust me. You cannot recommend product to the person if you don't see the product yourself. Yeah, sorry mate, you, you got too much ethics for me. <laughs> 50 bucks, no problem. You'll you do know? it? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. No, I just say it's funny, right? It's, funny. Yeah, it's, fun. it's much more balanced than the glass house. Much more balanced than the glass house? Yeah, yeah. I reckon the chaser is just the best show on TV. Mate, I tell you, it beats uh, the house show. You can get all your friends to watch it. What about your mum and your dad? Uh, you've got to get them into it too, because it's... Uh, I think mum likes the dirtiness. Oh, look, you can get over that because it's satire. It's, you know, it's just having a shot, you know. You can get her to get... She'll get over that. It's OK, I guess. Not everyone's sort of thing. I have been there it's not very long. OK, well, one of the experiences that you need, you need to have when you're here is to watch the chaser's war on everything. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. What else do you do with yourself here? Uh, do you not much, mate. Not much, mate. I just watch this bloody show. I tell you, it's, it's, it's really great. Like Karen will call her a little bit later on for me. I'm Karen gonna, needs to know as well. Take me a while. And, yeah, no, that wasn't me. That was the cab driver. I have no idea. He's talking about some TV program. The, the Chaser. You, you know, you know, it's won some uh, awards. The uh, AFI awards. Won a couple of awards. I don't know what they are, but you've got to be good to win them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so the next problem, Jules, and it's a pretty big one at the moment, David Hicks. Yeah, well, there's no problem now, because he's pleaded guilty. No, I don't think he pleaded guilty. I think he pleaded anything to get me out of here. Yeah, well, even so, the problem is that Hicks has been a PR disaster for the Americans, especially with this Bring David Home campaign. Yes, the solution? We took a new campaign to the American ambassador. I've got my filter through which I see things. You've got yours. And that doesn't make you a bad person. Doesn't make me one. Ambassador, uh, the Bring David Hicks Home campaign is gaining a lot of strength in Australia. Do you think you should have a campaign to put your position about David Hicks? Beg your pardon? Do you think that the uh, David Hicks Is Home campaign, with a nice picture of Guantanamo Bay there, might help uh, convince people of your position? Or what about something even more succinct? No? You, you, you said you were happy to answer the questions, Ambassador. You can get back to me any time in the next five years, Ambassador, that's fine.